Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to open a screen after saving another screen in order to create a screen workflow. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich internet applications. I already have an application open that we've been building in this video series. It's a simple order management system that allows us to work with customers and their orders. Notice that we have some screens defined here already. So let's go ahead and run the application real quick and see how our customer details screen works. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open another screen that allows the user to enter the order details after they enter an order header on the customer details screen. So here I've got my customers. Um, let's open. Let's go ahead and open up Joe. I know he's got some orders. Now this is the customer details. And back in a previous video, we created this screen, and we also included the child orders. Okay, so but we're only seeing the order headers. We're not actually seeing any of their details. You see their details when you click in to one of the orders. Okay, so you see the line item details on there. The other thing we added in a previous video is um, a screen that opens all of the open orders for Joe. Okay, so what I want to do though for this screen is when I add a new order header down here, you'll notice that I'm just, uh, this is a demonstration of a, a modal window dialog here. Okay, so what I want to do is when I save this screen, I want the user to immediately enter the details for that order. So what I want to do is I want to automatically open this screen after we save the customer detail. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Okay, so first let's go ahead and double click on the customer detail screen and this will open up the screen designer. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to write a little bit of code and we're going to need to write it after this screen is saved. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top of the screen designer here and I have a small resolution but normally you'll see this write code button. Drop that down and you'll notice here are all of the methods that you can add code to on the screen. So what you'll notice here is you'll see the saved method. So what we want to do is go in there. Now there's a little bit of code on this screen because it's a detail screen already written here for you. We don't need to modify that. But what we need to do is we need to open up our order header detail screen okay, after this is saved. Now this is only going to run um, if it's been successfully saved. Okay, So let's go ahead and write some code. So normally we would call screens with the uh, me dot application, excuse me, dot show, and you'll see here are all the show methods with our screen names. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show order header detail, and what we need to do is we need to pass it the order header ID. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through all of the order headers in on this screen on the customer detail screen and I want to open up a order header detail screen for all of the order headers that have empty details. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to just write a, a little loop here. For each order in me.customers on the screen. Remember a customer has order headers. Okay, so I'm going to go through each of those order headers, and that's what's displayed down in the data grid. Then I'm going to say if if order dot um, order details. Okay, any. Okay, we want to check if there are any of the any in here. Actually, we want to say if there are not any of them. Okay, if there's no order details entered yet, then what we're going to do is say me dot application dot show order header detail, and now we have the orders ID. Okay, so this is going to may open multiple screens if the user hasn't entered the details for um, multiple order headers that they've entered in that grid. So let's go ahead and uh, hit F5 and see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, open up Joe. I've already added an order header down here. I think that has no um, no no details yet. So let's go ahead and add another one in there. And we'll just make the date. No, we can't make the date in the future. It's the fifteenth today. We'll make it in the past. Okay. So I've got two down here that I think that will open. So when I click save, there's our code. And actually, I had three. So I have three: fourteenth, fifteenth, and the thirteenth here. These three orders all need details, okay? So those three screens opened. Now, if you only want one screen to open, you don't want to bother the user about the rest, um, you could exit the, the for loop, okay? So if, for instance, I it didn't matter just the first one I found, just say exit for, 
right here. And that will just open the first one it finds. Okay, But to be on the safe side, I think I want to go ahead and open all of them because any order should actually have details on them. Now I want to show you one more thing before we wrap up this video. Okay, So that's one example of opening up a screen after you save another. What I want to show you is how to open up a modal screen. So maybe what we want to do is just display a dialogue or something to the user. Okay, so we could do that. We could say like, thank you for saving the customers or any kind of notification. You could have maybe a, a some sort of business rule check here. But what we want to do is maybe just say me dot show message box. Okay, so, so show message box is a method here on the screen that you can use in order to show messages. And this is like a modal window. So we just say, Thanks. Okay, so you can use that uh, for confirmation dialogues here or just message dialogues, just informing the user something has happened. Okay, so let's uh, just see what that looks like. Okay, so now we can just uh, open anybody. It, it, if I make a change to any of it, you know, just put a change in here and save. And now you'll say, thanks for saving this customer. Okay, so that's a way we can actually do message boxes. There's also input boxes as well. Okay, so that's another type of screen. So you could say, uh, show input box instead of show message box. And this is going to retrieve, this is going to return a string. So I could say, you know, um, dim answer equals me dot show input box okay and this takes a couple of little parameters here a prompt okay would which be um, please enter a value okay and then the title okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm then I'm gonna say show me dot show message box like we did before and this time I'll just go ahead and sh display the answer okay that we that we are putting in the input box and let's see what an input box looks like now you could use that input box answer okay the result that the user is going to type into this box you could then take that and pass that into another screen as a parameter okay so let's say Go to Beth. I'll just fix this back up. Make a change. Save. And now you'll say please enter a value. Okay, so there's our there's our uh, our title and our, our prompt. And I can just say, you know, Beth. And there's our message box, Beth. Okay, so you could use those types of modal dialogues there on the screens themselves to also display screens after you save. And then actually, you can you can call these show input box and show message box, and even the application um, show you know your uh, any of your screens at any time in code that you'd like. Okay, so that's how you can display a screen after saving another. So thanks for watching.